What's up everybody, today I'm going to show you how to transform your old or new pair of jeans into a pair of biker jeans. This tutorial is meant for more advanced sewers, but if you're a beginner, you should be able to do this with some practice. But without further ado, let's get straight into the materials. So you're going to need a pair of standard cutting tools, a measuring tape, a straight edge ruler, an iron, a lot of pins, a seam ripper, a half a yard of denim, and the pair of jeans or pants that you want to customize. I will also publish a list of things needed in the video description if you didn't catch everything. So the first thing we're going to do is measure how long we want the biker panel to be. Use your measuring tape to measure from your waist down to the bottom of your knee. After you got that measurement, determine how high up you want the panel. For my panel, I decided to have it start at my mid thigh. After you figure out your two measurements, you want to add four reference pins to your pair of pants. Lay your pants on a flat area, then use your measuring tape to measure out the two measurements that we got earlier. While you are adding the reference pins, make sure to only go through the top layer of the pants and not both. This is what the reference pins should look like. Now you want to figure out how you want to design your biker panel. For this tutorial, I'll be doing a simple two-part panel. The two-part panel will feature a diagonal and rectangle piece. You don't have to use this design, you can make your own design if you would like. Anyways, the next thing we're going to do is add a lot more reference pins so we know where to cut and seam rip. We're going to start by adding an extra line of pins one inch above the top pin and another line of pins one inch below the bottom pin. This extra inch is to remind us how much we need to hem. To measure out each panel piece, go and get the measurement of the area in between the reference pins. The diagonal piece has to be two thirds of the total length, while the rectangle piece has to be one third of the total length. Once you figure out how you're going to be splitting the area, go and get pins and mark off the two sections. To give the diagonal piece its shape, you want to make a sharp line of pins along the top side. Here's how the pinning on your pair of pants should look. I'll also be putting a diagram in the video description so you guys can print it out or reference it later. Now you're ready to seam rip. Starting from the very top line of pins, you want to seam rip all the way down to the bottom line of pins. You want to repeat this for both sides of the leg. If you seam rip the sides correctly, you should be able to open up the sides. Next we are going to start cutting out the biker panel. Starting with the bottom, you want to cut a straight line above the reference pin, the first one. Do not cut along the bottom line of pins. After you cut along the bottom side of the panel, you can now cut along the top side of the panel. When you're done cutting out the biker panel for one side, you can use the piece for the other side to keep things symmetrical. But once you're done with all the cutting, you should end up with two biker panel templates. Next we need to hem the raw edges on the pair of pants so it doesn't fray. On the top side of the area in which we just cut, you want to fold it inwards towards the top line of pins, then pin it into place. You want to also do this for the bottom side of the area, fold it inwards towards the line of pins, and then pin it into place. Here's how it should look after you're done with all the pinning. Next, we are going to separate the biker panel into two separate pieces so we can use them as templates. With the markings that we placed earlier, simply cut along them. After finished cutting, you should end up with four separate pieces. Next, we are going to cut out the new denim pieces that we are going to use for the biker panel. Starting with the diagonal templates, we need to cut out two square pieces of fabric that are two inches bigger than the actual template. For my diagonal pieces, I decided to pin tuck the fabric so it has a ribbed look to it. I won't be going over how to pin tuck in this video, but you can click on the screen right now to go over to that tutorial. If you are on mobile, the link will be in the video description. Now that we have both squares cut out, we can cut out the new diagonal pieces. Get the diagonal template and place it over the new fabric. Make sure that the sides aren't folded. 
Now you want to start pinning it into place. Proceed to add a line of pins 1 inch above and below the template. After you finish pinning, you can start cutting along the outline. When you finish the first piece, you can use it as a template for the second piece. Just make sure to face it downwards and pin it into place. When you're done with all the cutting, you should end up with two diagonal pieces. Next we are going to cut out the new rectangle pieces. All you need to do is cut out two rectangles that are two inches bigger than the original template. Once you got those two denim rectangles cut, you want to repeat what you did for the diagonal pieces. Place the template over the rectangle and make sure that the sides isn't folded and proceed to pin it into place. Proceed to add a line of pins one inch above and below the template. Afterwards, you can cut along the outline. Again, you can use the first piece as a template to cut out the second piece. Once you're done cutting out all the new pieces, you should end up with four pieces like this. Next, we're going to bond the rectangle pieces with the diagonal pieces to create the biker panel. Take the rectangle piece and place it face down on the bottom side of the diagonal piece. Then you want to pin along the edge. Repeat this process for the other biker panel. Here's how they should look before you take it to your sewing machine. You want to do a simple zigzag stitch along the edge. Then afterwards, you want to fold over the hem to the rectangle side and do a simple straight stitch to lock it in place. You should end up with something that looks like this. Next, you're going to hem and stitch the inner side of the biker panel. We do this to prevent fraying. Go and grab your iron. Fold the inner side of the biker panel about an inch and use your iron to crease the fold. Then take your biker panel to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the fold to keep it in place. Now we are going to reattach the biker panel onto the pair of pants. Get your pair of pants and the two biker panels. Starting with the left side, you want to first insert the biker panel in the open area. Now you want to take the outer hem and bring it over the biker panel. Then you want to position the biker panel under the top hem. Once you positioned it correctly, you want to take out the pin and repin the area so it goes through both the hem and the biker panel. Here's how it should look so far. Moving on to the bottom side of the open area, you want to repeat the same process. Bring the biker panel under the bottom hem. Then take out the pins and repin the area so the hem and the biker panel are pinned together. When you are done, your pinning should look like this. Now take it to your sewing machine. Before you start to sew, if you can remove your extended table, be sure to do that first. With the opening in the side of the pants, bring it into the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the hem to keep the hem and biker panel in place. Also, make sure that you're only sewing the top layer and not both layers. This part can be a bit difficult, so I recommend to take your time. Once you're done sewing in the biker panels, the last thing to do is close up the sides. Turn the pants inside out and go over to the open sides. All you need to do is match up the edges and pin them together. Here's an overview of how I pinned my sides. Now you want to take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch from the waistband all the way down to the bottom of the pants. We have to do this to prevent any deformations in the pair of pants. But once you're done, you can try out your new pair of biker styled jeans or pants. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Ken and your daily. And remember to keep it daily. Peace.